her chair at home. Well, the 200 definitely. arts organisations, uh, including local theatres uh, and galleries, have uh, had the axe fall on their spending and their uh, grants uh, by government uh, funding. Uh, the Arts Council England uh, has had a £100 million cut to its budget uh, following last year's spending review. Well, with me to talk about that uh, more is Chantelle Staling. She's the deputy producer of Out of the Out of Joint Theatre Company. Is that right? That's out right. Of joint out theater of Joint Theatre Company. Yeah. Out of Joint. Uh, now, um, how has this affected you? I understand that, that it's certainly reduced your budget, hasn't it? It has. Well, we've just been told today that we've had a 20% cut, which was completely unexpected, and oh. that's on top of the 7% cut that all the arts organisations had for this year. Okay. So from 2012 onwards, we're going to have £140,000 less than we've had this okay, year. Okay, do, do you mind me asking, how much money does it cost to, to put on a tour then? Because that's what you do, isn't it? You tour around the, the, the UK with that's right. producing we take, new talent we and take, new writers. Yeah, we take new plays out of London and into theatres all around the country. It's like a showcase as well. Well, actually, we tend to work with mid-career writers. One right. of the things that we want to do is take the writers who have plays on at the National and the Royal Court and make sure that audiences out of London can see their plays. So how, how much does it cost to put a tour on? You know, general... It's, Roughly, process. it takes us about £100,000 to rehearse a play and to develop the play itself and to get it to the first performance. And then it costs us about twenty to £30,000 each week to tour that play around the country. Because there'll be people watching saying, hang on a minute, I pay 10 15 20 £25 pound a ticket to go and see these shows. What's the problem? Why are you so reliant on grants and, and, and government funding? Why don't you become more commercially, you know, more, more commercial and get sponsors and bums on seats? Well, one of, one of the problems for us is that we're a new writing company, and new writing especially costs a lot of money to develop. It takes us often two or three years to develop a, a writer in a play from getting the idea to putting it on stage. We have to workshop the plays, we have to do five weeks rehearsal because new plays change so much from the first day of rehearsal to the first day of performance. Um, and also, Something that's happened over the past few years is that with subsidy, writers have been able to tackle big subjects. They're no longer writing for two or three people in, in a flat in Islington. We've just done a play about the IRA. We've got a play in development about the NHS. And in order to do those big subjects, we need bigger casts. And we need the money to tour those casts, put them up in accommodation around the country. It's just not that easy, is it? It's uh, not, I, I, sadly. I suppose. So what are you going to do? I mean, is, is this, are you going to have to do shorter tours, smaller theatres, perhaps? At the moment, we're looking at all of the options. Um, because it's such an unexpected cut, we haven't planned for it yet. Do you think it's fair? I mean, they, they were saying they, you know, they, they either sliced the, the budget more thinly or, or they just gave it to people strategically. Briefly. I think that the problem is if you slice everybody, some companies can manage a 15% exactly. cut, some will close. So, so actually it's not that simple. You're still making decisions to cut companies. Um, we, we may have to cut the number of weeks that we tour, which is a shame because it means that we'll probably lose the, the less affluent areas of the country because those are the areas that people can't afford to come and pay full ticket prices. It is a shame. But listen, good luck with it. And thanks for coming in and, and, and telling us about your company. And good luck with it all and hope you can cope with it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chantal. Judy Morocco will be here from five. We'll leave you with the weather. That's with John Hammond. Thanks, Sophie. There's been some rain around today, hasn't there? I think nearly all of us have had some of the wet stuff. Which